Well, here we are in uh, Nelson's niche, uh, and behind me you can see a portrait of Admiral Lord Nelson, um, England's greatest maritime hero. And this little area, I think, is one of the most interesting in the museum because it's very personal. Uh, elsewhere in the museum we have a lot of artifacts, a lot of models, a lot of paintings, but a lot of them don't depict people and I think people are in themselves interesting. Nelson was very interesting. Uh, he was uh, a great hero to the British people. He won some notable uh, maritime victories and this was at a time in the late 1700s, early 1800s when Britain and indeed most of Europe was pretty much at war all the time. Uh, usually with uh, different allies, but the main uh, protagonists, you had Holland, you had France, you had Spain, Portugal, Italy, Germany, Britain. Uh, all of these countries were, all of them pretty much, at war with each other at one time or another, sometimes more than once. So this was a time when war was very much on people's minds, and Nelson, uh, gave the British people a hero to admire. Uh, there was some romance in it as well, in that, of course, he's uh, especially well known for his uh, romance with um, uh, Lady Hamilton. Uh, quite extraordinary at the time, because Lady Hamilton was the wife of the um, British ambassador to Naples. Um, Emma Hamilton had been born the daughter of a blacksmith, actually, so from quite humble beginnings but with aspirations to become an actress, uh, allegedly a very beautiful woman, uh, also a very accomplished actress and singer, uh, so she attracted a great deal of attention, of course, and eventually uh, attracted the attention of the widowed uh, Lord Hamilton, who was Britain's ambassador to Naples. It was while she was married to him uh, that she uh, met uh, Nelson. Uh, somewhere about 1798 and they became lovers and of course it became uh, a, um, uh, a bit of a national scandal but it was a very sympathetic uh, population uh, there wasn't a lot of judgment against Nelson for his uh, outrageous behavior. Uh, anyway Nelson was uh, most famous for his final battle which was against the combined fleets of France and Spain uh, at the Battle of Trafalgar. That's off Cape Trafalgar, which is in the very extreme southwest of Spain. Uh, the story of the battle, the, the reason for the battle, the forces of Bonaparte, Napoleon Bonaparte, were massed in France waiting to invade England. Napoleon, as a precautionary measure, wanted his fleet to sail north uh, up the channel and make sure the British fleet was nowhere to be seen and was unlikely to hamper his invasion. Uh, the British got wind of this and sent Nelson to intercept and he eventually caught up with the uh, combined fleet off the uh, Cape of Trafalgar as the French-Spanish fleet was setting forth to go up the channel. Nelson employed a means of attack which was unheard of at the time, which was to attack at right angles to the uh, fleets as they moved north in line ahead, basically. He divided his fleet into two and attacked at right angles to the um, fleet sailing north. Uh, the beauty of that was that it divided their line into three and of course the, line, the part of the line that was cut off in front uh, would have a very long, um, a very long um, uh, beat back to come to the aid of their companions. So Nelson employed uh, an unusual tactic and it paid off. The, um, the uh, French line was broken into three pieces and were uh, severely crippled by the um, two lines of British ships. We have here a beautiful uh, ship, uh, painting 
uh, by Dinsdale called The Aftermath of the Battle of Trafalgar. Uh, it shows uh, the uh, stern of the victory and uh, of course the mayhem uh, going on uh, uh, around them uh, with uh, ships uh, in various stages of uh, being on fire and sinking. The idea of uh, warfare in those days, by the way, was not to sink your enemy if you could. The intent was to capture it. So uh, that's what you did. We also have here a model of the victory, which was the